Hello guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Bimi and I'm a Nigerian lifestyle blogger based in Lagos, Nigeria. If you're new to my channel, thank you for stopping by. <laughs> and if you're returning back to my channel, you know that you're so loyal. You guys are always the best loyal <laughs> thank you guys so much for stopping by and being here as always i appreciate it i do not take it for granted in any oh my god i'm trying to gesticulate but it's not happening guys i've been trying to film this video for the past two hours trying to get this madam to sleep she's yawning and yawning but she's just not sleeping and i'm losing daylight because i'm not i'm using the light to film i can't i can't just continue waiting even though i will not film the video today so i decided to carry her to film this video so guys we have a special guest in our midst today Y'all give it up for Miss Ruby. You want to say hi to the peeps? Nah, she not. You want to say, oh, she's saying hi. Say hi to the peeps. <laughs> the title of this video, you guys already know that I told you guys to ask me questions on Instagram, on YouTube, so that I can answer your questions. And that is what I will be doing today. Today, 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 I will be answering the questions that you guys have asked me. They're quite a lot, um, but I will try. Some of them are almost the same type of questions, so I'll just... Can 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 I talk? Can I talk? <laughs> so some of them are almost the same type of questions, but I will try to, like, merge them all together and everything. And okay, so... Going to the bottom, the bottom, the bottom, the bottom. Yeah. I don't know if I should read people's names. I don't know... I don't know if I should read people's names. Actually, let me, should I, I probably should just leave their names out a bit. Okay. Um, okay, so the first one says, how are you doing and feeling? Hope you're taking care of yourself. Same to Baba Tishetu. I am doing great. I am awesome. Actually, I lie. I'm not doing great. I, I have major eye bags, under eye bags. Like, I need sleep in my life. Like, this girl, Look, I'm trying to film a video and she's awake during the day. Normally she sleeps during the day and sleep and doesn't sleep at night. But look, today as I have to film, she decides to be awake during the day. Hey mama. Okay. So yeah, I'm okay. I just need sleep in my life. That's it. That's basically just it. Um Babati Shea is <laughs> Babati Shea. Oh my god, Tay Shea. <laughs> Babati Shea is doing well. He's alright. Um he's back to work. Oh my god, she's fussing a lot. Okay, Baba Tisha is doing well. Um, he's all right. He's back to work. Um, yeah, he's doing fine. So we are both doing fine. Let me just put it like that. Um, the next question says, how did you deal with waiting before conception, especially times when you put pressure on yourself? Okay, so um, yeah, I well, I did wait a little, well, about six months before I got pregnant. But the thing was, I thought I was going to be one of those that I used to joke with my colleagues at work that on my wedding night I would get pregnant. So I thought I was going to be one of those that would get pregnant like instantly. I didn't know I was going to wait like a couple of months. So um, and I did put pressure on myself honestly because if you know me, um, you know that like I had like um health challenges, and so like I was scared kind of that maybe the health challenges were going to get in the way of me um not being able to conceive and all that and you know so i wanted it to just happen fast fast because i didn't want to start thinking oh maybe it's because of this or maybe it's because of that that's why i'm not yet pregnant so i put pressure on myself it wasn't even anybody putting pressure on me it was more of me putting pressure on myself so i was always praying i was always telling god god please you know because at the end of the day i didn't also want a situation whereby you know after a couple of years people will say okay so what's going on you know i know it's none of anybody's business but hey if my family cares my husband's family too will care so and i didn't want anybody putting their noses in my business and everything so yeah i put pressure on myself and i don't advise anybody to do it so rather than putting pressure on yourself just let's go and let god you know so that was how i dealt with the pressure that i put on myself and waiting it was just praying and asking god you know to help me basically so somebody said how old are you and are you going to be are you going to do a bed story vlog? I am not going to do a bed story vlog, even though I that was the plan. That was the initial plan. We are, I already started vlogging on my way to the hospital, but whew, a lot of things happened, child. So I don't have a, I don't have footage. But when the time is right, I would come here and do a bed story time. Yeah, I would explain what happened, but not a vlog. 
think it's gonna sleep in finally um but not a vlog yeah i'll explain what happened how old am i i am 28 or the same person asked also did you relocate to the state or you'll be moving back to nigeria after some time i did not relocate to the state so um <laughs> i am in nigeria i live in nigeria for now well right now i'm not in nigeria i'm out of the country so yeah but i do not relocate please i just came visiting the person also says also please give us more content i will try as much as possible you guys are seeing what i'm having to deal with but i think she's finally asleep next person says please can you tell sat <laughs> satoy <laughs> My baby is a tsa, sa to a she. It's really that it will knight you now. Okay, so um, please can you tell Sato she to link me up with his younger brother? I, I, I ask in humility. <laughs> um, I don't know what you are seeing in Toyeshi that you want him to link him up with your, your, his younger brother. But unfortunately, he doesn't have a younger brother. They're just two. It's just he and his sister. They told me that. And that's it. He doesn't have a younger brother. Sorry. How did you deal with your husband being a deeper life member? My boyfriend is one. Okay, so I kind of already kind of answered this particular question on Instagram. So, and people actually sent me messages because it doesn't really have to do with maybe deeper life, exactly deeper life. Like somebody sent me messages that, you know, she's Catholic and her husband is, and her boyfriend is, goes to a Pentecostal church and they're planning to get married. How are they going to go about it? Okay. So, um... How did I deal with mine? So the thing was that, like, yeah, my husband was going to deeper life. Um, a lot of people asked me that was it because his parents were going there? No, he was even going to a different branch than his parents were going to. I guess he just liked to get, you know, what what they what they were doing. Um, so the thing is, my husband was cool about. He's he's yeah he's deep. Oh my god, yeah he's deeper life quite alright, but he's like totally cool. Like it's not. How do I put it? He wasn't like into all the doctrines, all the, you know, you know what I'm trying to say, right? So, I mean, he saw me like, you know, my gloriousness and decided to marry me. So he wasn't like, he wasn't like he was going to be like, oh, um, he wasn't a kind of, oh, please don't wear a ring. Please don't wear trousers. You know, that kind of thing. Like he was just going to the church for the messages, I guess, but not into, into, into the doctrine. So he was really cool. And so when we met, in fact, the day he told me it was deeper life, I was like, what? I don't believe you for one second. Um, so I didn't have to deal with a lot. And by the time we were dating, we were already talking about, I told him, I was like, I'm not sure I'd be able to go to the church you're going to because God has to lead me to the church we, we should be going to together. So, and he, and he agreed. So when we got married, we prayed about it and God led us to the church that we'll be going to. So we don't go to deeper life but we also don't go to the church i was going to before <laughs> so um yeah so having to deal with it there was really nothing to deal with you know just um the advice i just give the person is just make sure you talk to your boyfriend like you guys should be on the same page like right now he might seem like oh he's cool with like the things you do and everything but then when you get married you don't want somebody to start saying oh well you knew me you know that i'm deeper life we don't accept this, this, this. we don't accept that, that, that so you need to have a, that conversation with the person like okay so if we're gonna get married what's gonna happen you know I'm, I'm, are you going to ask me to change my ways or to change the way I dress or the way I look or the way I do things? You know, that kind of thing. So just have a conversation and make sure you're on the same page with the person. Okay. Uh, can we meet up? Uh, I don't know. I guess if you want to meet up. <laughs> um, another person says, what do you use for your skin? Oh, I have a skincare routine video, a nighttime skincare routine video. Um, I'll link it up for you to go and check it out. But it, even though it's updated, Sha, like if you follow me on Instagram, I always like try to show like some of the skincare products I use. So yeah, I'll probably do another updated um, skincare routine on here. Another person says, can I come and do nanny for you for some days? Hey, I don't mind though. I do not mind at all. Please come. Another question is, where did you do your master's? Oh, I don't have a master's degree yet. So, sorry. It's only BSc. Can you post videos every Saturday and Tuesday? I don't... I've never been one to have a schedule on when to post videos because my life is just always turning on your own. Like, I work in 95, so I can't... If I tell you that I want to post on this and this day and this day, I'll be shooting myself in the foot because you guys will be mad that maybe it's not uploading videos. So, let's just... Whenever you see it, you get it, okay? Um, another question is, nothing just to say, you're just my inspiration. Oh, thank you so much. Next question says, my friend thinks because she's quite on the body side, guys won't like her, but not anymore. I feel like this person wants to talk about something about body, being big, quite, quite on the body side. I feel like maybe the person is talking about like being big, because like, obviously I'm big. Um... 
what I'm gonna say is, look, you're beautiful the way you are. I feel like I need to do a video on this because I did not get to this stage of me saying you're beautiful the way you are. I had my own fair share of issues for a long time. Like, for a very long time, I had my fair share of issues that I'm just like, yeah, dealing with body positivity took me a long time to deal with. So I feel like I should make a video on that. But I'm just going to tell the person, you know what, you're beautiful. Don't let... A guy should not be determining what you feel, how you feel. A guy should not determine how you feel at all and at all. You're beautiful. God created you the way you are. If you feel like you need to do something extra, like, you know... If you feel like you need to do something extra, like lose weight or something, that's fine. But don't make, don't do it for a guy. Do it for yourself because you want to. How did you deal with stretch marks during pregnancy? Fam, if you know me, you know that before I even got pregnant, I had stretch marks. So, um, how are we going to deal with having stretch marks during pregnancy? It's been there. <laughs> I've always had stretch marks since I was a kid. Like, it's, it runs in my family. The only person that doesn't have stretch marks is my mom. And she's on the big side and she doesn't have stretch marks. My dad that is skinny has. My brother is skinny, he has. My sister is skinny, she has. I have. So, I've always had stretch marks. So, now I'm having stretch marks during pregnancy. <laughs> Please, I didn't even bother getting any bio oil or palm oil, cocoa butter or anything because they don't work. They do not work. At least for me. Um, did you get to know the gender of the baby before birthing out or you waited until delivery? This is a very funny story. Okay, let me quickly summarize it. So basically, I wanted to know the gender of my baby, you know. Uh, but every time we would do scans, like they check, they be like, well, we can't see, we don't know. There was actually a particular day that I actually took money and my husband and I, we went to a different clinic and we were already, at this point, already probably like 30 weeks gone. 30 weeks gone. People find out the gender of their baby at 18 weeks, 12 weeks, 30 weeks, we still did not know. So we went to a different clinic and, you know, we explained to the lady that was supposed to check um, the gender and she was like, oh, don't worry, I'll get it. I, I always get it. There's no how. I, I will get it. So we paid and we got in and this lady kept looking and looking and looking and looking and she not see she's like oh well the placenta is on the genitals so we can't even be sure i'm like i'm like what what is going on like what's all this jackie <laughs> so we did not know until i think i was already about 36 weeks i was like i could have popped at that time so if i was about 36 weeks or going to 37 weeks, I was already getting ready to deliver my baby. And then I went for like a, one of the hospital doctor's op, um, doctor's appointments. And I was like, can I, can I know the sex of the baby? The doctor was like, you don't know? I was like, I don't know. We've been trying to check all this while. And the baby's always turning bum bum or turning side or turning this to us. So we don't know. Um, and then he checked and he, and he still said, after checking for so long, he said, it looks like a girl. He was still not sure. He was like, it looks like a girl. So I was like, you know what? We're running with that. It looks like a girl. It's a girl. We're taking that. <laughs> uh, next question says, how is baby T-shirt doing? And do you have a delivery vlog for us? Baby T-shirt is doing all right. You can see her. Delivery vlog. I don't have. Sorry. I'll probably do a story time. How was T-shirt's birth? Like, do you need to do a story, a birth story? Hey, Jesus. I will do a bad story. You had a positive pregnancy test in February. Do you think that was a chemical pregnancy? I just had one and I'm devastated. Hey, mama. I'm sorry. Um, so, yes, it was a chemical pregnancy. And, you know, I'm sorry that you went through that. Nobody should be, nobody should ever go through that. I was devastated during when I had... Okay. 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 Okay, okay mama. Um, nobody should ever go through that. Like, um... I was devastated when I when I had mine, and it wasn't a it wasn't it wasn't a it wasn't a good thing. I just thank God I had a support system with my husband. I cried my eyes out, like, but um yeah, I'm sorry you went through that. You know, God is going to return everything that you've lost in Jesus' name. Amen. Mommy T, have you ever dealt with lack of trust? <laughs> Mommy T, girl. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Mommy T. Okay. Have you ever dealt with lack of trust in a relationship and how did you deal with it? Oh, yes, I have dealt with lack of trust in a relationship. And I don't think I'm one to um, give advice because I was very stupid. I was a very stupid person. Um, I had lack of trust in the relationship, but I still let the relationship carry on and linger on. Because if I were to go back in time, 
I wouldn't be that stupid. I wouldn't be. Um, once you don't have trust in a relationship with somebody, you need to sit down and talk to the person about it and say, look, this is what I feel. This is how I feel. Oh, she has the hiccups. This is how I feel about so, 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 and so, and so, and so, and so. I don't think I trust you anymore. And if, you know, if the person, the person should be able to, uh, what they call that thing, say, allay your fears or make you feel better um, and, you know, maybe change in ways that, you know. Um, but if the person doesn't, my dear, trust is number is a lot is a huge thing in a relationship. And once that trust is gone, Okwari, that's the end. Okay, so next question says, What was it like being pregnant? Was labor as painful as you would have thought? Hmm. Labor, labor, labor. Labor was painful. Nobody ever prepares you. Let me just put it like that. Nobody prepares you for the whole process. Labor, delivery. No matter how much videos you watch, no matter how much everybody sits down and tells you, no matter how much number of books, you cannot be prepared for labor and delivery. It was painful. It was hella painful. I have never been through anything as painful. I cried my eyes out. Labor was painful. Um, what is it like being pregnant? I have a pregnancy journey video, so just watch that out and then you know what you know, my pregnancy was like, um, it was good for me. I had it easy all through the whole nine months. So she says, how were you able to combine the first year of marriage, just getting to know each other with pregnancy? Yeah, many hormones are in action. Um, my first year of pregnancy was not just getting to know each other. I don't know why people always say that. I already knew my husband very well before we got married. Like, very, very well. Yes, there were little, you know, now we're living together, so there are little changes here and there and there and there. But there wasn't anything significant. There wasn't a major change or something that I did not, oh, I didn't know this. Oh, my God. So these guys like this. No, I didn't have um, that kind of experience. So it wasn't like I was just getting to know him and then we now got pregnant and then, and then I'm not having to deal with all of that. No, we were ready to have a baby from the beginning. Like, <laughs> I wasn't trying to wait. Nah, I wasn't waiting. Um... So it wasn't like, so yeah, it was, it was good for us. Let me just put it like that. Like we had known each other for a long time. We got married. So still in the process of still getting to know each other, but it wasn't like huge, significant difference. Um, and then we got pregnant and it was, it was good. It was fun. The whole nine months, like it was good. My husband was caring. He was loving. He was the best man ever. <laughs> Next question says, I remember you doing a video, maybe morning routine. And there was one app you and your husband, you, you and de your then fiance like a book reading or biblical app sort of can I know the name? Oh, that would have been um I think it was you version now. Yeah, like with the money the, the Bible devotional. If it's, if it's the Bible devotional that we read, it's um we just find one on you version. Um what's it called? The Bible app. Just download the Bible app and then um you version. You can there are lots of um devotionals and you can just pick one. Also, can you share how you overcame the negative thoughts? Oh yeah, like I said at the beginning, the negative thought of putting pressure on myself because of the medical condition. It was like, it was just me praying and telling God that, you know, I, this is what I want. I want this and I want that. And please, like, you know, just, I even fasted, like fasted and prayed. At the time, my mom and I, we prayed together and fasted. Like, see, you guys, prayer works. Like, I was just telling my mom something a couple of days ago. Like, there's nobody in this life that can tell me that prayer does not work. There's no, there's nothing you want to tell me in this life that's made me eyes ah, it's a lie. It's not a lie. Prayer works. I'm a true testimony. I'm a true believer. Like, I'm testifying to the glory of God. Prayer works. It works. Quote me anywhere. God is good and he is awesome. You are to say we have opened each other's hand and shall side. Eh? We have opened our hand and shall side. We are breastfeeding ourselves on camera. Eh? Can you imagine? Anyways, as long as you're good and I can film the video. So yeah, do you like too much of sex? How often do you have sex? Um, like I said, I'm going to call out your name. Ibu Kumade song, well, that's your name. Who doesn't like sex? I mean, sex is godly. It's ordained by God. Like, it's you have to have sex between your husband and yourself. So yeah, sex is fun. Sex is great. Sex is amazing. Oh, next question says, okay, first this is not a question. I feel like two of us are completely disconnected. Oh, wow. I don't think so. I don't think we have, you know, I would have this conversation with you. Yeah, so next question says, how did you tell your mom you had a boyfriend and what was her response? Listen, <laughs> before I even told her I had a boyfriend, she was asking me, Wunda, where is the guy? Where is this? I didn't toast you. I didn't ask you out. You know, that kind of thing. So she was, it wasn't, I had not gotten to the point. I wasn't at the point where, 
oh, I couldn't have a boyfriend. I had, to, I mean, she was ready for me to have a boyfriend. She was ready for me to have to be married. Okay. So next question says, how are you dealing with your postpartum body? My postpartum body is there. It's just there. I wish I could show you guys and stand up and show you guys now, but somebody is clearly busy. Um, but it's just there. Like I didn't have significant changes. I didn't have major changes like when I was pregnant. Like, next question says, did you have a baby shower? I did not have a baby shower. I did not have a baby shower. Why didn't I have a baby shower? Um, I don't know. I actually don't know. My sister asked me if I wanted a baby shower and I told her I didn't want one. Next question says, how did your parents react to the news that you were pregnant? They were he they were over the moon, they were elated. My dad is always for me, hard guy, hard guy. He was happy. He was so excited. They were good, they were great, they loved it. Okay, so next question says, How many kids would you like to have? Um, I like to have two kids. My husband likes to have two kids, but if God says, you know, we should have more. We'll see. But and after this whole labor and delivery, two kids. I will adopt. Thank you. Next question says, labor gist. Don't worry, it's coming. <laughs> Hi, I would like to hear a birth and delivery story and how motherhood is so far. Ha, <sighs> this birth and delivery story. It's coming. It's coming. Um, how is motherhood so far? I mean, so far so good. You can tell. I'm trying to film this video. Trying to suit this girl to sleep, trying to breastfeed her at the same time. Whew, joys. <laughs> do you have a help and what do you think about house helps? Okay, well, I was raised with ourselves. My mom always had ourselves. My dad always wanted ourselves because, you know, to help my mom around. Um, so I don't have a problem with ourselves. But do I want ourselves, like, personally? Well, do I want ourselves? I don't mind. Next person says, hi, Bims, congratulations. I just want to know what your first trimester was like, the experience and all. Love you steadily. Oh, love you too, girl. Love you. <laughs> um, my first trimester, it was it was good. Um, my first trimester, I mean, if you watch my uh, pregnancy journey, um, yeah, you should watch my pregnancy journey. My first trimester was good. I didn't have any nausea, no morning sickness, nothing like that. So it was really good. Okay, so next question says, Hi, baby, congrats on being a new mom. Thank you so much. What's your take on godly relationships and was there really any pressure on you before marriage, before pregnancy? Okay, so the, um, back to the pressure thing. The pressure that I had was just me putting pressure on myself. It wasn't like, I didn't have like external influence pressure, like, you know, from people outside. It was just me on myself and I had already talked about that. What's my take on godly relationships? Man, I had a godly relationship. And that's what I advise for everybody. You need to have a godly relationship. Maybe I should have a whole video on this. I don't know. Um, but if you need to know more about godly relationships, I'd advise you check out Tosin Alabi's channel. Um, I mean, <laughs> yo, she's pat, she's loaded. <laughs> so I'd advise you check out Tosin Alabi's channel for advice on godly relationships. Um, she's... <laughs> She's better, uh, she knows how to put it better than I would put it, you know. Um, but yeah, I'm all for godly relationships. Like, that's what I had and that's what I advise everybody that around that's around me to have. Advice for new small teenage YouTubers like myself. Teenage YouTubers, advice. Just keep, as long as you have your niche and you know what you're doing, you're good and you know and teenage youtubers you know it's easier for you maybe you're still in school you're still in um high school or you're still in um college you can easily get your friends your colleagues your classmates to subscribe to your channel and watch your channel so take advantage of all of that okay congrats did you have a gender any gender expectations i did not have but my husband did um, from the beginning of the pregnancy, my husband knew he was he was gonna be a girl. How he knew, I did not know. But um, I would ask him, and he'd be like, and I'd be joking to him, like, this baby is a boy, you. you know. We did all the whole, um, you know, those tests you do, the old wife's tale test. I got this thing, and he was, you know, he was leaning towards a boy. He was like, nope, it's a girl. To the extent that <laughs> he picked out girl names, and I was like, so what about boy names? In case this baby is a boy, he was like, you're on your own. You pick out the boy names, but he's so sh he was so sure. And I remember one day he told me something that I've settled with God since I was small like this. Like he had already talked to God about it since he was a very young, settled with God about it that his first child is going to be a girl. So he knew she was going to be a girl. I was, I didn't have any expectations. I low-key wanted a girl too. Low-key wanted a girl because my mom always said she wanted a girl as a first child and she had me and I wanted a girl as a because I know the things I do for my mom how she loves and appreciates it and you know and I just feel like girls are 
let me let me pick my words wisely girls are i don't want to say better at taking care of their parents but let me just say like it's just i feel like it's just better to have a girl as a first child don't quote me anywhere there's nowhere there's no rule that says that like i just prefer a girl as a first child but if i had a boy she i'd be excited i'd be oh, man i was already looking at really nice outfits for guys or for baby boys you know and hi auntie Bimi. oh hi please can you talk about how long it took you to recover from childbirth pain and the hospital and the hospitality on the hospital you gave birth in the hospitality on the hospital i gave birth in was great they were good like they were coming in every minute like are you good you need something you did she they were good <laughs> i didn't have any issues with them like hospitality was great they took care of me very well um recovering from childbirth pain um it's been about a month since i've had her um my recovery my recovery was quick let me put it that way for the kind of breath i had my recovery was quick I'm just gonna put it that way and yeah it was pain it was painful ha chai it was painful though but i recovered quickly god gave me strength and i recovered quickly congratulations be me on your bundle of joy please i'd like to ask how were you able to overcome sexual temptation during courtship and any tips on how to maintain a godly relationship before marriage oh my god ah <sighs> for the number of sorry 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 for the number of godly relationship questions that i've had today it just seems like i'm going to have to do a video on it because yeah this q a will not cut it so expect a, a a video of godly relationship and i will talk about sexual temptations in that video too but like i said earlier on check out Tootsie and lavish channel like i mean i'm a youtuber i shouldn't should i i don't care like i don't mind like because it's sharing and proclaiming the word of god so check out Tootsie and lavish channel please for any questions on godly relationships, sexual temptations, I would also have a video. I would, since you guys are requesting from me, I would make a video on it. But in the meantime, that you've not seen a video, go and check out Tosin Alabi's channel. Hi, baby. Congratulations on being a new mom. Thank you. I just want to know how you've been able to handle every aspect of your life well. Okay. Any secrets to share? Hmm. If you know my life, if you know my story, I've not handled anything. <laughs> it's not like. <laughs> God has been helpful. God has been faithful. Let me start like that. I'm, I've made a lot of mistakes. A lot of mistakes. Like, I always tell those that are close to me that I would never let people around me make the same mistakes that I made. Never, ever, ever in this life. Um, my siblings, ah, chai, they can never make the same mistakes I made. I, I make sure of it every single day. So, um, it's not like my life, has, my life has not been rosy. Trust me. Like, it's not. Um, do I have any secrets to share? The only secret I'll share is... The only secret that I can say I can think of is just being yourself. Don't try to be anybody else because that was the mistake I made in the early years of my life. I wanted to belong. I wanted to be as in, hey God, if you, those in my high school can testify, I wanted to belong so bad. Like, and now I look at, back at it and I'm like, what was the killer fan? What was the point? what really was the point i wanted to be a big girl i wanted like you know like i wanted to be cool by all means and i think it also stands for the fact that i didn't have an older sister or an older brother so nobody could really help me find that way that i didn't have aunties and uncles that you know could help you know it was just my parents and they were doing the best that they could do but you know as a young child you, you need that big sister big brother or uncle or auntie that could you know help i didn't have any so i turned to friends I turned to friends, I turned to people in my area, the streets, like, nah, I, just be yourself, be who God has promised and, you know, what God has designed you to be, don't try to be like anybody else, because it's when in tears, though. Hi, baby, I was introduced to your channel through Chantel Ayao, oh, Chantel, oh, yeah, um, I literally wanted watched almost all your videos and i can tell it's so amazing thank you so much um, my question is what did you do or what kept you motivated during the time while you were waiting for the lord waiting on the lord for a child <sighs> what kept me motivated there was one particular song that was going on on social media around that time something something i follow more that song that's my husband i'd play it i'd play it 
I would play it. I don't even know who sang the song. It was a clip from um, a bunch of women at the airport. I don't know whether we had even advertised it, but that song, I would play it so much. I posted it on Instagram so much. That song, hmm, I was like, God, I we have a child, do <laughs> I we have a child? That kept me motivated. Um, I also had um. I also had success stories from some people I knew, you know, that had been waiting on, um, waiting for the fruit of labor for so long. Um, you know, um, another person that kept me motivated was Alma, Alma Ungar. I, I hope I pronounced that right. Um, she motivated me too. If you watch our trying to conceive story, whoo, Jesus is Lord. <laughs> you know, she, I was like, baby, you're not even going through anything. Rob, you know, what? No, you know, you know this is nothing. <laughs> I want you to go through things, man. You know, she kept me motivated. A lot of people kept me motivated, you know, and God's word kept me motivated. So, like, at the end of the day, I mean, there are so many examples in the Bible. Oh, this child is finally asleep. There's so many examples in the Bible. Sarah, you know, like, and, and I just knew, like, I always say something, eh? God is not going to take me this far. Mm? And now, and now, um, abandon me. Go, go, John now. <laughs> Which way? It's not pause. Go pause. You know. So things like that, I kept saying to myself. And then my husband was the cre- like the biggest motivation ever. Like, who? I like. I don't know why I got so emotional saying that. He was. He was like when I say all this. Like when the devil brings up all these negative things in my life, you know. And I'm trying. I'm explaining things like, babe, stop, stop. Now, like, just stop. Don't bring that here. Like, I don't care. I don't want to hear what you have to say. Like no that's not your life that's not your portion that's not what's happening to you you know and wow he was hmm, he was great <laughs> is your brother single hey my you people started from my okay you said my husband's brother he doesn't have a brother my own brother i don't know you have to ask him when he see him how is your husband adjusting to fatherhood he's the best he loves her. Well, I mean, he helps that way. She loves be He loves babies, eh? You know, most fathers don't want to carry newborns like very fresh. Tweshi, man, from the first day, was already changing her diaper. <laughs> like he loves her. He's adjusting really great. Did you give birth outside Nigeria? Yeah. <laughs> what challenges did you face as a new mother that was unexpected? Ha! This sleepless night, something. And then um, this whole colleague, uh, gas. Uh, what's that other thing? Yeah, like, man, those things are just from the pit of hell because how can you see a small child and you just let them have gas and, you know, be very, very uncomfortable? Child, children that cannot express themselves, you know, they are crying. And um, that was a huge challenge for me, man. Next question says, Congrats, Pimi. I just started watching your videos after your pregnancy announcement. Thank you so much. You're one of them. Oshie Goni, man. Thank God for a safe delivery. Thank you. I would like to know how is it recovering after birth? I'm great. I have recovered fully. Uh, Mrs. Bimi, thank you. Yes. How did you know your husband is the one? I have a video. I have a proposal. There's a, there's a how we proposed video. There's a how we met video. There's a, there are like three different videos on my channel. I will try to look for it and you guys should go and watch it. Yes. I think I spoke about how I knew it was the one in that video. It says, hey, I would like to know how you felt dating your husband. Huh? I mean, the early days of you dating, did you know you would end up together? Did you have battles with your mind during, during the early months? Keep me anonymous. I don't mention anybody's name, so that's fine. Um, I like to know how you felt dating your husband. How did I feel? I was happy. I was fine. I was happy. I mean, I was fine. I didn't have a problem. Um, it was just like regular relationship. But it was a relationship that from the beginning of time, we both knew was going to end in marriage. So we were not dating for the fun of dating. We were dating to get married, to get to know each other better and know if we would get, if we would be compatible to get married or not. Um, so yeah, we got help in us because I, we both sought the face of the Lord. So it wasn't a, hello, hi, can I get your number? Let's just start dating for the fun of dating. No, it wasn't. We were friends first. We were friends first. We were friends for a while before we started dating. So yeah. Um, dating process was great. He used to take me to the best restaurants, the best places. He used to buy me things. He made me start my YouTube channel. Have I ever told you guys that? He bought my first tripod for me, bought my first ring light for me. And we were still dating that time. Like, guy believed in my dreams. He believed in my YouTube goals. Like, you know, he pushed me so much. He shared my channel. He helped me a lot. I would run, um, content through him and be like, yo, you know, do this. Oh, I don't think this is right. 
So, and all that was when we were dating. Um, we went to the amazing places. We prayed together. We prayed together. We read Bible together. We did so many fun things together. Dating was fun. And it's still fun because we're married now. Now we have a child. So, we'll still have more fun, Sha. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, next question says, Oh, did I know we would end up together? Like I said, we were dating to get married. So, you know, I'd already sought the face of the Lord. And God had told me that, you know, he was leading to that direction. He was, you know, the right person to get married to. What's your ideal age for marriage and how old are you when you went get got married? I got married at 27 and um, ideal age for marriage. I used, to, I used to think I would be one of those that get married at 25, but that didn't happen. <laughs> I didn't have my life together at 25. <laughs> um, but um, ideal age for marriage, I don't know. Is there an ideal age? Whenever you feel like you're ready, bro. People get married at 22 and their marriages last. People get married at... People get married at 30, 31, and their marriages last, and their people they get married at 24, 25, and it does not last. So whenever you think is the right time, is the right time. Okay, then the last question. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. These questions were so long. Congratulations again. What was the delivery like being a first-timer? There will be a story coming up very soon on my channel on this delivery that everybody has asked about. Thank you so much so much i appreciate it and through this period our special guest has slept we have done so many things in this video we have cried we have cooled we have breastfed self in this video we have stood up for each other you know and she's finally asleep so happy thank you guys so much for sending me all these questions if i did not get through to your question i'm very sorry i will probably do another one another time um for the recommendations that I had, I said you guys check out Tosi and Labi's channel, check out Alma Unga's channel for a trying to conceive story. Um, yeah, like just check those out. Um, what else? Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys as always. Um, thank you for hanging with me and the special guest. <laughs> And uh, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all the new subscribers that I had. And you guys identified yourselves. Hey, girl. Hey, guys. I appreciate you a lot. And I will definitely see you in my next video. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs>